Kathy Ekdahl, and my business is Personal Best Personal Training. We're here at the International Golf Club in Bolton, an absolutely beautiful facility. And we're here for golfgirls.com to film some dynamic warm up and some stretches that you can do before you begin your golf game. If you sit at a desk all day, some of your muscles actually deactivate, they shut off. Meanwhile, some of your joints are going to get very tight and very stiff. Well, no wonder you're going to have a problem hitting the ball for the first three or four holes. So it's really important to warm up before you get on the first tee. I'm going to show you some things that I think are really simple to do that are going to get your muscles prepared for golf. One of the things we know nowadays is that static stretching, long held stretches, can actually slow down muscles. And when you're golfing, we want the muscles to be super active. So let me start with a few dynamic warm ups. To begin with, I like to do leg swings. So I'm gonna use the club, and whether the club head is down or you have your uh, hand on top of the grip, we're gonna just swing our leg. When I'm swinging my leg, I'm keeping my spine very, very still. There's no flexion of the spine forward. Here I'm warming up my hamstrings and the front of my hip, my hip flexor. I'm gonna do the other leg as well. And notice while I'm doing this, I'm also thinking about my core. Am I tall? How is my posture? Are my shoulders back? So we're gonna do some side swings as well. I'm gonna make a little room for my leg here. Obviously the hips are an extremely important part of the golf swing. Hip rotation and hip flexibility is an absolute key. So if your hips are tight, either front to back or side to side, you're gonna know it in the first few holes of your golf game. So I'm also trying to really keep this standing hip nice and tall, okay? All right, so how about just a little bit of rotational work? And I'm not doing this in any specific order right now. I just want you to pick and choose what things work for you. I'm gonna get the club behind my back. My knees are soft. And I'm gonna look at just rotating through my upper body and keeping my hips very, very still. Hips are still and I'm working on the rotation of my upper back. It's okay in a warm up to be looking in several different directions. Okay, I don't have to keep my head looking down. In fact, if you turn your head, you're gonna get more range of motion. So notice that I was slightly flexed forward just like I would be in my regular golf swing. Okay, let's do a couple stretches for the lats and the rotator cuff. And I'm gonna make these stretches brief. The reason I make these stretches brief, again, is we don't want the muscles to shut off or slow down. Here I'm stretching my lats. If you've been sitting at a desk all day, okay, this is a really great stretch for you because this part of your back is very shortened. Here's a nice stretch for my rotator cuff. So I'm in external rotation. I'm pushing the shoulder back a little bit. We'll do it again on the other side, okay? Putting the club down, I'm gonna continue on my upper body. I'm gonna bring my hands behind me and gently, gently give my chest a stretch. I don't want you to overstretch here. Okay, it's very, very gentle. All right, let's stretch the thighs a little bit. So we've done the hips, we've done part of the upper body, and obviously I'm just giving you a few options of different stretches to do. I'm gonna go down onto the ground. One of the most important stretches you can do is a stretch for your hip flexor. So going onto one knee, if you need to use the club for balance, you certainly can. I'm stretching the front of this hip. I'm gonna bring my arm up in the air and I'm gonna press my hips forward until feel lengthening right through here. This is your hip flexor muscle, okay? When that's tight, it shuts off your core and it shuts off your glutes. And if you've ever done physical fitness for golf, you know that core and glutes are king and queen of the golf swing. So this is a really, really nice stretch. Lastly, I'm gonna do a stretch for my hips. I've already warmed up my hips, but I wanna stretch my glutes and the top of my hip a little bit. So I'm gonna use the club to balance. I'm gonna cross one leg over and I'm gonna sit back into a nice hip and glute stretch. Sometimes I'll also do this sitting in the um, cart or on a wall and that feels really, really nice. And one more time, just gonna sit back. And remember, if you can't balance on your club, you can sit down and do this same stretch. 
So those are some dynamic warm-ups that you can do before you get on the first tee. Some of them were movement oriented. That's what dynamic means. And a couple of them were held stretches for some areas that are chronically tight. So again, uh, if you have any questions or concerns about these type of exercises, you know, you can always email golfgirls.com. And my name is Kathy Ekdahl and I'm from Personal Best Personal Training and I'm the fitness trainer for golfgirls.com.